Hello and welcome. What is a tree volume table? A tree's actual diameter and height is important to determine merchantable or sellable volume when the trees are sold for pulp, which is paper, lumber, and hundreds of other volume determinations. The volumes are calculated from the diameter and the height of that particular tree cylinder the tree size. These volumes are then grouped into tables called volume tables. They're based on tree species, on form class, and on the product type. Tree volume tables are calculated using many methods and developed to provide an estimated volume of wood in a standing tree for a certain product. Okay, let's go into how to use a volume table. And I want to take an example from the U.S. Forest Service Forester's Handbook. And you can see that the table looks like a spreadsheet and it's got columns and it's got rows. Volume tables are typically developed with diameters listed along the right side of that matrix and the heights along the top. Uh, running the diameter row to the correct height column from the top will give you a calculated wood volume. Many of these tables exist also in wood inventory computer software that are developed for many, many different products. What is a local volume table? Local volume tables are statistically developed to eliminate what we were talking about, the height and the form class measurements that you have to take on regular volume tables. The concept of local volume tables depends on the relationship between the height and the diameter of the tree over a broad set of tree samples, and they are usually within a given range. The diameter alone then determines the volume and increases your speed of volume calculation. So that's the beauty of having a local volume. That's it on volume tables. I'm Steve Nix, forestryabout.com.